Look, I think it's absolutely amazing what's happening today because we've had so many Mandela films made and they've never necessarily been played by a South African. So it's fantastic that my bestie is playing the great man. What inspired the story really was the British, the British director John Irvin uh, had written up a like a small treatment about Mandela's life in 1961-62 when he was um, undercover. It was the blank, black pimpernel, and nobody had really um, nobody had really told that story about his in that that part of his life. It was always skimmed over. So it was really, it was the British director who wanted to see that story and so he gave me the opportunity to research everything that was happening in his life at the, at the time. His odyssey through Africa, rallying support um, from different liberated African nations uh, like Algeria, like Ethiopia where he received his military training and where he was setting up in Kontu Um So it was... I almost discovered his story as I was researching it um, and the, the film grew because we kept discovering new things about his life in that period so, and we wanted to include it so it just kept getting bigger and bigger and it almost now encompasses his whole journey through Africa. Doing a film like this is one of those moments in one's life where you feel like I've been offered a golden chalice. So many good things can happen with it. And also it's a very dangerous object to have in your hands because the hopes and dreams of an entire nation almost rest in your hands. We're telling the story of one of South Africa's greatest icons and we owe it to South Africa and the rest of the world to tell that story, first of all, in a fresh way, in a way that no one has ever heard it, but at the same time being authentic and sincere in how we tell it for those who know this icon or who might think they know this icon without going too far away from what they got to know as the great Nelson Mandela, the man of reconciliation and forgiveness. But before that, 27 years before he got to that point, when he was the Nelson Mandela of the armed struggle, the one who had gone to a point where he was saying, the apartheid government will not listen to us if we continue the way we're doing with negotiations. We have got to get to a point where they take us seriously in our armed struggle. When Moroba told me that they wanted to ask me to play with me, I was like, are you sure? Are you sure about that? And just like, yes. And it was first very daunting and surreal and unrealistic. You know, it was like, no, they, they got to be kidding until I was actually on set and playing Windy. And when I went through all my research, I read up on Uma Mubini and I realized that a lot of the research has also got to do with her political involvement which is important, you know. But this particular film and the script that we had, we didn't have much political drama around Winnie. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and bring out her human side, bring out the side that every other woman can also relate with. She is a mother who loves her children. She is a wife who loves her husband. Uh, I think the, the inspiration came from um, Madiba. I mean, I think uh, I felt there is another story there than the familiar story. So I looked for um, a less familiar story, a little less known story. And the more I researched it, the more fascinated I became. And the more determined I was to pursue all the leads and um, uncover, um, or, you know, well, you've seen the film, make some discoveries, find a new, a different kind of portrait, a fresher portrait, one that was less, um, less you know, um, well, less familiar, less stereotypical. 